When we work in schools and the focus is about building relationships, I work with teachers, parents and students. And what I find is that students are the group, that stakeholder, that takes to this very easily. So the idea of actually exposing students to this from a very young age is as they go through elementary school and this, if this is an integral part of how things are dealt with, the knock-on effect, and Roselle Public School is an exemplar, went from a difficult inner-city public school to six years later being recognised as the most outstanding public school in New South Wales based on learning outcomes measured against the statewide average. So it wasn't an aberration, it's very real. And what made the difference was the kids learnt to build relationships and teachers devolved responsibility to them. And that they integrated that in terms of the curriculum and everything they did. So there's a classic story that comes out of that and uh, the principal at the time, uh, Lynn Doppler, and it's really important to say that this doesn't happen in a vacuum. You cannot go into a school unless you've got three things, leaders, leaders and leaders who have a good sense of what being restorative is about, understand that it's the fundamental basis on which they engage staff, the kids and the parents. So the idea of training the kids, the parents and the staff means everyone singing up the same hymn sheet. It's a classic example of um, a parent writing uh, to the principal saying, I couldn't believe what happened. We, our nine-year-old, my nine-year-old daughter invited some friends over for a sleepover and there were about six or eight. And there was an issue. Later, and there was a bit of a birthday party and, and as the adults, we thought we were going to intervene. And they said, no, leave it to us. And one of them pulled out the restorative card and facilitated this conversation. And um, the parents said, we were completely gobsmacked. Now, the truth is, um, there's a saying in Australia, you, you never, never know if you never, never, if you never, ever go. And, you know, I've learnt this working with young kids and older kids. Create the space and they'll sort it. Give them a framework that helps them to build relationships and they'll do it. And in a funny way, it allows us to see a conflict as just a normal part of relationships. And I'll never forget the, the, the little year, year four girl who, when I asked a group of young elementary students, what would happen if we never got to experience a conflict, she said, it wouldn't be very good. I said, why is that? She said, because how would you know how to build relationships? 